Good morning. Coming on for a really quick tutorial this morning. Um, I don't have much time to be honest today. I um, well, Ian is Ian's driving one of my good friends through to the dentist. She is getting a tooth out um, under sedation, so and her dad doesn't keep as well and he's not as great on his feet as he used to be. So we're driving both of them through and waiting on them to bring them home again. So what I'm doing is just making a wee um, pouch for if you're sending happy mail or a wee gift um, and a swap. These are just really really quick and easy to do. So all you're doing is basically taking out your book page and what I done there was just cut off the ragged edge. It was um, obviously the biggest part of the book. Then what I'll do is where the number is. That's coming off as well. So I'll just line that up. About there. And just take that off. And then that's going to fold in there. Then I've just got a wee bit of PVA. I'm just going to use my finger for this. So, and all you're doing is just go up one side, along the bottom edge, and fold it over. I actually went too far with that wee bit of PVA, but that's fine. And then just ever so slightly put a wee fold onto it. Okay. So it's not a massive fold. Um, and what I tend to do is just snip the corners slightly but don't go right up to the edge that means if you have got any small items they're not going to fall out and then what I do is just open that up a wee bit and just stick a wee bit along there just helps keep it all together and stops it falling apart then grab another wee bit of glue and just go along that bottom bit and fold it up. Okay. Then this wee loose part that's still flattened about, take your finger and just run up the inside of it. Okay. And the same up here. Just make sure it's not flattened about. And you're left with this wee envelope. Okay. Give me a second to wipe my finger off. Um and then we'll go to the next stage. So your next stage is to get your corner punch and I'm using the one that Annie sent me because I really like it <coughs> and I'm going to use the three teardrop side and just punch it like that. Same on the other side. Making sure that's positioned in properly. And you've then got that. Okay. Then get a wee bit of patterned paper. 
And then all you're going to do is just take your scrap and fold it in half. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Oops. Fine. Place it against your pocket. Take your scissors and that just lets you see where the pocket length is without having to measure. Okay, so that's what we've got now. Okay. And what I would do with this one is I would put my punches on the bottom side. So I'm just sticking it in, make sure it's in the right position. And do it again on the other side. Move that out of the way. And we've got that design on it, okay. Which is just really pretty. Then what I would do is take my crocodile and just eyeball and punch two wee circles out. Okay, like that. Get a wee bit of baker's twine. Put these away while I'm working about. And just thread your baker's twine through. And the same at that side. And then just tie a wee knot. Or a wee bow, sorry. Doesn't it be anything too fancy? And then if you wanted to jazz it up just a wee bit more, you could, let me see. Uh, we'll put that one back up and we'll take maybe, let me see, Twist, Twisted Citron I think, that's quite a nice green colour. And then just go round the edges. Oops, I'm out of shot there. Let's go around the edges with your twisted citron. And it just helps tie it together. And then if you want to go that one step even further, what you can then do is, let me see what I've got in here. sediment. That's nicer. Um, 
I'll then take my wee twisted citron again I think just to keep it tying in together and just go around ever so slightly and give it a wee coat of that then we'll grab a wee foam dot I think I can find my other one No, these three legs, but it doesn't matter. I've got a couple of these ones. So I'll just pick up a few of these. One, two, three. Press them on to make sure they're on properly. Put that off. And then just place that on your wee and you've got a lovely wee holder for your wee bits and bobs like that and you will see in just a minute as I'll show you me putting some wee doodads in here just so you can see it holds them all fine I've got a wee jar of doodads and they are quite small just pour in a selection of them and when you've got your two wee tyres on there you can see oops that's come out the top part, but if that's got the cover on it, they're not coming out. So, I hope that's been a nice wee tutorial for you. I'm um, just going to finish that round the top there, just because I like to make sure it's all done. Um, in fact I think I'll do the reverse side as well and it's just the same just a wee quick dab of colour over it that really super cute and what I do to store these just put your wee bit of twine and your wee top inside the bag and that means that they're stored flat all your stuff together and I just put them in a wee pile I have got loads of these made I don't have all the tags on them I'll be honest I tend to put them on just before I'm ready to send but these can be pre-made at your leisure. You can sit in front of the TV and do these, no problem. And they're really, really handy for when you're sending out racks, etc. Just to send something a wee bit more nicely. So I hope that's helped. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.